Good morning. We are on our way to Goblin Valley State Park. We just checked out of our hotel and we're actually driving through Capitol Reef National Park right now to get to Goblin Valley State Park, which is the views are awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. And you know, Crystal found out about this place while we were staying at the hotel we were at. Yeah. Yeah. So the Red Sands Hotel is where we stayed at and uh, they had like these travel guides, which a lot of hotels do when you're near a national park. Um, so I picked one up and I was looking through it and I saw this Goblin Valley place. I'm like, oh, I never heard of this. And it turns out, since our next uh, destination is Arches National Park in Moab, um, Goblin Valley is kind of on the way. So I was like, you know what? And it's only to go to Arches National Park from Capitol Reef, it's only two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. Uh, so, you know, we knew that we had some time today to do some other things. We were like, you know what? Let's uh, go to Goblin Valley State Park because I saw that it was only an hour and a half from this national park and you know since it was on the way anyway why not stop by plus you can take your dog with you too and we have kuma with us so this will be really fun for all of us together yeah fun fact when i was reading about it it became a state park in the 70s so it's a fairly new state park compared to like i feel like other state parks we've been to but um i'm pretty excited to see it it looks really funky in photos just the and the name of it too, Goblin. But, yeah, um, so it says, uh, in the 1920s, a local cowboy, uh, miner and engineer, stumbled upon this unique valley of bizarre formations while searching for a new cattle route. Uh, so he first called it the Mushroom Valley. <laughs> but then by 1964, Utah designated it as Goblin Valley State Park. Oh, so, 60. So it's 64. I could have sworn it's all 70s. Oh, well, maybe. Well, let me see what this is. There's two brochures that yeah, have, that maybe they have Goblin. Like, Collecting information. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me double check here. Okay, Goblin Valley State Park. Uh, no, I don't see anything about the state. I wonder why I saw that. Well, oh, maybe. also, uh, the park's unique landscape provided the backdrop for the movie Galaxy Quest. Have you guys seen that? I have never seen that. Before. I don't know what movie that is. It kind of sounds familiar to me. Yeah. Is Natalie Portman in that? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's like an older movie or something, but I might oh. be totally wrong. But what if it's one of those new ones with? Um, uh, whatever. Yeah, I have no idea, but it's a, it was a set for a movie, so that was kind of cool. Um, so there are like, there's some hiking trails here. It makes it easy to explore, they said, in an hour or two. Um, and there's some petroglyphs and pictographs there as well. So maybe we might come across that. So yeah, we're kind of excited to check out this new place because it wasn't even on our itinerary. But it sounds pretty unique. Uh, we've never heard of it before. So doing something different and it's always fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, so after Goblin Valley State Park, then we're gonna move on to Moab where we're gonna stay for a couple of days. I didn't realize it, sorry. I didn't realize it was Moab. I thought it was Mo. The That's whole what time. I thought too. <laughs> I thought it was Mo at first. I was gonna say Mo, 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 but I started watching like these YouTube videos. Thank goodness for those like reviews because I would have said Mo the entire time. <laughs> but um, they said it's Moab. Oh, okay. So yeah, so we'll be staying in Moab for a couple of days because we're gonna explore Arches National Park. We're pretty excited for that national park as well. It's more popular than Capitol Reef. We love Capitol Reef oh National goodness. Park. Oh my goodness. First of all, I felt like we had the place to ourselves the entire we time. We totally <laughs> did. You know, because a lot of um, national parks that you go to, um, they're just so overcrowded. You don't have, it's rare that you have your own space. Uh, especially if it's a really popular national park and if you go on hikes there's like a lot of people um and if you're driving and if you want to stop over somewhere yeah. everybody else starts stopping over we have to worry about parking like oh we gotta get yeah. there really early because all the parking spots are gonna be gone yeah. so there's just like a lot more things you have to worry about at other national parks whereas this one i felt like we don't have to worry about anything yeah. we had <laughs> none of that it was so stress-free yeah and we actually skipped bryce canyon and kept and decided to go to Capitol Reef instead, and um, I'm glad we did. I'm Skip glad rice. too. Yeah. I'm glad I made that decision for us. So we're about 
about 15, actually we're about 21 minutes from Goblin State Valley and we're coming out across some interesting rock formations again. Um, they look kind of similar to Bryce Canyon, I feel they like. They do, yeah. These formations, yeah. So far on this drive, it's been scenic the entire way. Yeah, it's been a lovely drive. Can't believe it's already been over an hour. It doesn't feel like it. Yeah, I can't believe we're almost there. Yeah, it went by really, really fast. But I guess that's what happens when you have really nice views. the same fee as Capitol Reef National Park. Okay, we're here. Goblin Valley State Park. It says Park Boundary. We don't see any goblin light things yet. I think we have to descend down to one or something. Close is at 10 p.m. Hi. Hello, how's it going? Good, how are you? Motorcycles are ten dollars. Bicycles and pedestrians are ten dollars. The campground is thirty bucks. All right, there you go. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. So Goblin Valley has one of the darkest sky night skies on Earth. Right, that's what that's what the Capitol Reef said. <laughs> I guess this is another place. <laughs> well, it's one of them. So <laughs> Valley of Goblins to the left. Ranger residence to the right. <laughs> Oh, this road is new. Oh, very new. We're updating this place. So let's see. The goblins, known scientifically as hoodoos, were formed through the gradual erosion of Entrada sandstone, which was deposited about 170 million years ago. <laughs> they look so cute. They're all around. Oh, yeah. There they are. People are just like stopping by. Yeah, stuff. they're just stopping and taking some pictures. I guess we'll just go down and yeah. see. This is the end of it. Yeah. And I guess you can get out here and explore. Are you ready? Ready for a little adventure? Hot out. <laughs> yeah, it's about 90 degrees. I think it's at 88 degrees or something. It's not bad though. Let's go, guys. Ready? I kind of got a hoodoo hair going on. <laughs> yeah, you do. Hoodoo hair. Like millions of years ago in the Jurassic period, it used to be a seafront property. Can I climb the goblin? That's what I was about to ask. Mm. No. Nope. We do not recommend it, but we've seen so many pictures of people on it. Well, I guess it says they don't recommend, I guess you can, uh -huh. but. Oh, I not. see. It just, they're saying it might be unstable. Yeah. That's the most common accidents here. Because of accidents. They're not really saying because it's like a risk to the rocks or anything. It's extremely remote and a long way from medical services. All right, so those are the hoodoos. We're up on deck and you just go down some stairs where we see some people going and you just kind of wander through this little goblin valley. And uh, we're about to go do that now. Yeah. And Kuma too. And Kuma. <laughs> Kuma's like, ugh, stairs. Balance. I'll be easier than going down the steps. Yeah. What about are you gonna go down that too? It's slippery, baby. Let's see what she does here. Nope, she's gonna use the steps on that one. Okay, so here we enter the first hoodoo. Touch one. Oh, it's very rough. It kind of feels like the um, Joshua tree rocks. Oh yeah, it does. It can just like go into these little clusters of hoodoos, and you're 
enclosed in them. <laughs> I love how it's dog friendly. It is nice that it's dog friendly, huh, Kuma? Isn't this nice? Can you imagine you and Zoe running around in here? Oh my gosh, that'd be so fun. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'll rest right here. <laughs> She's like, this is a nice shaded spot. Yeah, panting already, huh? Yeah. Look at this girl. That is a good baby. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Good Such job. a good girl. Such a good model over here. Look at, look at Kuma go. Good job, Hi. Kuma. She's only walking fast because she's trying to catch up to you. Oh, I'm Good sorry. Come on, I know. All of a sudden it got super hot. The yeah. clouds went away and the sun came in. It's, it's brutal when the and, sun's out. Yeah, it's a little brutal right now. So we're going to head back. And Kuma's ready to go back too. So. Yeah, it's a little hot for her. Yeah. So. Uh, but we did explore some cool looking rocks. Yeah. $20 for this, we think, is a little bit on the expensive side. It's steep, I think. Yeah. But, you know, maybe they need to it's, hire the workers to stay out here and stuff. Yeah, because it's very remote compared to other national parks. Yeah. Like, there's like no civilization, it seems like, for miles, miles, and miles and miles and miles. So, yeah, we can see maybe that's why they have to you know, put up the price on this place. Yeah. It's not even that many steps, but oh in the heat, it's kind of kind of brutal. Kuma's, Kuma's working hard. Good girl, baby. We're almost there. on now to uh, Moab and uh, Goblin State Park was pretty interesting. It was way different, you know, than anything you'll see in other state parks, I think. But I like that they had like a, a poops, poop bag station yeah. for the dogs because you really don't see that in a lot of state parks no. or national parks. So I really appreciate that. There was uh, proper trash cans because sometimes I can't find trash cans yes, either. Very clean bathrooms. Uh, yeah, the bathrooms. Candy really loved the bathroom. She's like, oh my God, I would pay $20 for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, compared to other places like other national parks where it's just a hole or it stinks or it just looks dirty. But there you can tell like they've been cleaning it. I mean, it's not you, but it's well maintained for very, sure. Very clean, Yeah, uh, running water. Yeah, I think it's a pretty cool stop to do if you're in this area. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't make a trip just to go here, but if it's along the way to like somewhere you're going, then I think it's a fun little stop. And then I'll, there were some other things you could do around there too. There was like some kind of horse canyon, I believe, and muddy river that you could go to. There's lots of color right now. Too, yeah. Like looking around. I know I have like polarized sunglasses. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, a lot of color. color. Like reds, browns, whites. Green. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Yeah, lots of color, which is um, nice change of scenery because for a little while, for a little stretch, there was just like kind of like all black um, mounds of, it almost looks like mounds of sand, but it's probably, you know, rocks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's, it looks really gloomy when it's really dark everywhere. So when the colors came back, I was like, oh, I get all happy again. <laughs> yeah, it does make me happy.
and approaching our hotel very soon. Lots of construction. Uh, I guess they were doing some work with the pipes or something. They made one stop after Goblin Valley State Park at exit 161. We stopped at a gas station there. It was like a big exit with lots of stuff. A couple gas stations, uh, hotels, restaurants. Not too many like things we wanted to eat. There was like a Subway, Blimpy, Arby's, and yeah. we really don't like those. <laughs> and then shortly, like a little bit after that, there's actually a rest area. So yeah. if you don't need to get gas, but you just want to Yeah, that was at uh, exit 181, I noted it. Oh, on, um, sorry, on Interstate 70. There's a Denny's here. I haven't been to Denny's in forever. In ages. Yeah. Probably since college. <laughs> I know, like me and Candy, you know, we used to go to Denny's all the time when we were in Pensacola, when we were going to college. I have our, like, I used to study <laughs> with, like, my friends at, at Denny's. <laughs> and people used to be able to, like, smoke in there, too. That's crazy. Yeah. There's a Hyatt place here that's brand new. In one mile, yeah. the destination is on your left, 132 North Main Street. Yeah, we're staying at a Homewood Suites. This was actually one of the most expensive hotels we paid for. Oh, Kenny's gonna back it up. Yeah. She gonna back it up. Sometimes I wonder if you're allowed to, because some states are not allowed to. Oh, really? Because there's no plate in the front. Mine doesn't have a plate. Yeah, so, like, a lot of places in Florida, they don't allow you to park, back park, because then they can't see the license plate. Oh. Not so much in California, because you have plates on both yeah. sides. Well, I never back park, actually. Nobody in Florida back parks. <laughs> It's just sometimes it's easier to just get out when you want to go, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I know, it is. It really is. And you have a nice camera on your car, so it's easy to see. I do. <laughs> okay, everybody mask up, except for Kuma. We are here. We got our room keys. We're in our room. And first off, I was like, oh my gosh, there's a kitchen. There's yeah. a big fridge. We're going to probably relax here for tonight and probably try to find something to eat around here. It's like a little town. Uh, with lots of yes. little restaurants. Thank goodness, because I'm hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, we'll probably wake up super early to go check Arches National Park because it's right by this hotel. Mm -hmm.